We've been invited today to go to the country singing superstar home of Laura Bryna. So come on inside with us, let's meet Laura and find out what's been going on. So I'm here with the lovely Laura Bryna. Thank you so much for allowing us to come to your home. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your show. It is so wonderful to finally get to meet the family. These are my babies. They're the cutest. And who are they? This is Tyler. She's a Congo African Grey. And there's my little man. He's Harmony. He's a little Senegal parrot. And in the back is the diva of the whole group. That's Snuggle. She's a lesser sulfur-crested cockatoo. So what's happening these days? So we've got a lot going on. We've been doing a lot of writing. And believe it or not, I've been singing at a lot of different boxing events with the Muay Thai boxing. and regular boxing with the World Boxing Council and the Muay Thai Premier League. So it's really kind of interesting because here's this girly girl who likes clothes and makeup and hair and all these different things. And they're like, hey, can you come and sing the anthem at our different events? And so of course I go in the first one and I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay. I had no idea what I was getting into. And there I am with the rocket's red glare and there is blood on the floor in the middle of the ring. And I was like, you want me to sing what and in where? And yeah, so my boots were literally in the bombs bursting in air and the rockets red glare, yeah. Which is pretty cool, and I want to let the people know out there in the public watching this that, full disclosure, I was lucky enough to be on a music video, which I asked my people to get for me. I didn't care what it cost. I wanted to meet this gal. This was two years ago, <laughs> and it's been pretty amazing since. And that song was, was wonderful. You. It's called Life is Good, and you know, to me, I'm very blessed to be living my dream and, and be with the babies, and you know, it's the lovely men and women that I do the work with the Air National Guard and with the National Guard Youth Foundation, and you know, they allow me to live my dream, and so there I was singing Life is Good, because damn, good. life is good. <laughs> I'm taking the lows a whole lot better, all my edges fit together, every day feels like So we're kicking it downstairs, we've got the pool table, it's just loungy, very nice view of the backyard. It's a really cool house, so we're really glad to be here. And uh, I was gonna ask Laura another question, but it's obviously Harmony has something to say. Harmony, how do you like being here in LA? <laughs> Silent type. But Laura, I really- but he ate the microphone. He did, <laughs> he did. You like that? See? Well, let me teach he gives you. it a kiss. It, well, that's, we all like kisses, that's very cool. But on a serious note, tell me more about the Air National Guard. The Air National Guard is a really great uh, military branch. I mean, obviously, they all these are amazing, and these service men and women who have served and are serving, um, they allow us to live our dreams and, and live in freedom every day. And, and for me, being the spokesperson for the Air National Guard's advertising campaign, it's my job to tell everybody what these wonderful men and women do every day, 24-7. A lot of times, they've been the ones that have kind of taken the seat back and people don't really know that it's them that have done that uh, that brought the blankets and the pillows to Katrina all the different victims and stuff it was the Air National Guard that did that too so um, it's kind of a coming out party is basically what it was and and is and and for me I got to co-write a song called hometown heroes with two friends of mine in Nashville and and the Air National Guard decided to use it as their big big campaign song The, the, uh, the video all over and you can also catch the commercial uh, on television it debuted on Monday Night Football and and also it's in movie theaters too so it's just we're really about telling everyone what these brave men and women do every day because to me I mean we did something poignant for Memorial Day and what people don't realize every day is what they do for us we live the dreams we do we live in freedom we can go outside walk talk relax because of these people putting their lives in line every day. Absolutely, and what people also don't realize is that they are overseas too. They're everywhere defending America and defending the people and, and the people that live here in freedom. And I think that the other thing is that, you know, the military provides such wonderful opportunities for these men and women. 
whether it's college or insurance, health insurance. I mean, these, there's really some wonderful benefits. And it's not that these people choose to go to war. They hate war. Right. They don't want to go to war. They don't like doing that. But they know that their job is to defend this country and defend the people. And they love the United States and the place that they live. So, guys, check it out on YouTube or on Laura's site, Hometown Heroes. Thank you guys for everything you're doing. So we've come downstairs, we're in the kitchen now, and Laura just issued me a challenge. Next time we get together, it's a cook-off. Okay, so that's gonna be really funny because clearly I feel like this room is a waste of space. I think that it should be another closet. I mean, when I was looking at houses out here and my real estate agent and I were talking and I said to her, you know, I really am okay if the house that we look that the houses that we look at that they really don't have to have kitchens. And she's like, Laura, I pretty much can guarantee that every house we're gonna look at it's probably gonna have a kitchen. And I said, well, I said, but I'm okay if they don't. I mean, to me, this should be a closet. The oven should be shoes. Yeah, she's like them. <laughs> this is what this room is all about. Red bottom shoes in the oven. This will be a challenge for me and you. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. I'll make sure my insurance is up to date. Uh, you're gonna wanna do that. So listen, I have another question to ask you about um, what else is going on work-wise? Work-wise, it's been great. We've been really, really busy. We've been doing a lot of the boxing events. And obviously, I do a lot of work with the National Guard Youth Foundation, which is um, our at-risk youth. And it gives them a second chance at life and mm -hmm. gets them back into high school. And they learn responsibility and how to act as a responsible human. And so it's a really great organization. And right. we have a 90% success rate. Excellent. So we're excited about that. And, and also, I'm working on a new record. Excellent. Yay! Excellent. <laughs> so it's been a really great time. I'm working with a great producer out here. His name is Rob Bolt, and he's worked with Fergie as well as many other different wow. acts. So yeah, he's amazing. Great. And it's really been a great time for me as a musician to really explore and experience new things and and really use my musicianship and and i'm getting more and more into writing and actually i'm taking a trip to nashville pretty soon and i'm gonna be getting back together with a couple right. of my co-writers and we're writing a, a really cool song and it's called bring it on mm -hmm. bring it on so um so i'm excited about that and and this record i mean i now have love songs in there because right. the last record was about attitude, sassy, all this stuff. But, I, you know, I need some love inspiration since clearly I'm severely single <laughs> with three birds. I'm the crazy bird lady. Or maybe you want to talk on the cell phone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I figure it's time to expand my horizons. So, but there's still the attitude and fun, sassy right. stuff too. But we've got some love songs in there as well. Right. Looking forward to that. And there's one more thing on the QT. Something very secretive coming out. Very soon. I know they're in talks, and what can you tell me about that? Well, here's the scene. I call it DL, which is the down low. But all I can say, two words. Two words. Foxy Roxy. All right, we'll find out more about that later. I want to thank Laura so much for allowing us in your home. It's been a pleasure. You are an amazing human being. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Love you. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> So, Laura. Yes. I hear that you have a favorite show you like to watch in the morning. I am. I'm a big fan of KTLA. I mean, that's where I get all my stuff of what's going on during the day or what's going to happen. <laughs> and uh, just between us. Yes. You've got a crush on somebody? I do. He, um, yeah, I have a big, hot, yummy, fuzzy crush on uh, Mr. Sam Rubin. All right, Sam. Check it out now. I've got the number. You guys, we can connect this. I can't wait. And, you know, Sam... You can be my hometown hero. There you go. <laughs> and she also includes, of course, the wife and family. She wants to meet everybody, Sam. Absolutely. Because, you know, behind every great guy is a fabulous woman. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>